Hello, LinkedIn. Thank you all for joining me in another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're discussing Rosemount's 5300 series of guided wave radar level transmitters. Today's video, we're going to look at the different probe options available and when to choose each one. So first up, we have our single lead probe. This is our most commonly used probe, and that's due to its versatility. It's available in both rigid and flexible options, as well as a variety of process connections and lengths, depending on your application. Now, the great thing about this probe is we can use it in both liquids and solids applications, as well as applications which are highly viscous or have the potential to coat the probe. Now, the one downfall to this probe is it can be disturbed by nearby objects in the vessel. So we have certain recommendations for how far to keep this probe away from those objects to minimize that impact and to maximize the signal strength. Now, if you have a vessel which is really small or you have a vessel with a lot of stuff going on and you can't meet those recommendations, we do have another option, and that would be the coaxial probe. Now, think of this probe as a single rigid probe within its own stilling well. So the great thing here is it virtually ignores any nearby objects and just focuses on the fluid, which is within the coaxial probe chamber, if you will. Um, the downfall to this is you can see there's a lot more surface area, so it's not gonna handle highly viscous media or sticky coating applications, as well as a single lead probe, as well as it does not work in solids applications. So these are at opposite ends of the spectrum, depending on your application. Now, right smack dab in the middle is the twin lead probe. It's the ultimate trade-off between these two probes. So compared to a single lead probe, it handles nearby objects a lot better, and that's because of that second lead to ground the measurement, uh, but not as good as the coax in terms of that. Uh, but where it is better than the coax is at handling those highly viscous and sticky media because there's a lot less surface area compared to coax probe. So as you can see, this is the ultimate trade-off between these two probes. And those are the different options that we have available on our guided wave radars. If you have any questions about Rosemount's 5300 series of guided wave radars or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.